Welcome to our new adventure. This time our travel diary will be about how to survive as vegans. in Tagbil Aran and we are staying in Panglao Island. As you can see, it's beautiful. We are just right on the sea. We have animals just behind us and we have decided to get an apartment just because in case we don't find big vegan options, which is possible, we can actually cook our stuff for the next six days, but we will be looking anyway for some vegan options around and showing you where we're going to go. Follow us! Inside the island city mall in Tagbilara at 
the Boss Cafe. They only have two vegan flavors, but they're really, really, really good, so highly recommend it. not 100% vegan but I would say it's at least 98% vegan. They have great options, they have burgers, they have main courses, uh, smoothies, bowls, they have everything and they're not super expensive and I found out they actually have two other restaurants in Siargao and El Nido so we will probably um, try those ones as well. And Today we've decided to go for a boat trip and we got a boat from Alona Beach and the cost was about a thousand pesos for two people and we joined a group just in the morning. We didn't really book the tour, we just went there this morning at 6 a.m. and we just joined a group over there and they took us to Balikazar Island where you can snorkel, you can choose between fish like coral reef fish or turtles of course we've chosen the, the turtles also because there is much less people over there while in the fish area it's so crowded and it's not really enjoyable and I felt really really sad about the fish while the um, turtles are in the open ocean so they just take you there and you just go in the water and you just uh, look for them and swim looking for them around and they're so nice swimming very very beautiful experience um, and then after that we went to Virgin Island just for a quick dip in the water it was really nice oh they have vegan snacks over there try the fried banana because it's really good and it's really cheap and yeah now we are on our little wharf uh, just enjoying the evening, waiting for the sunset, and we'll see where we're going tomorrow.
hike. We drove up to the island of Bohol, the big island, and we are almost ready to experience the hanging bamboo bridge. It's a bit scary, but and after this we're going to visit the chocolate hills. So stay tuned for some big adventure. Paradise, we really recommend to go down there. 
we decided not to join a tour. It was quite expensive, so we just got a bus, public bus, an adventure. <laughs> it's a three and a half hour adventure, but it's worth it. The, the place there is really nice. And also we had enough time to visit at least three vegan restaurants in the city, which we really recommend, all of them. We're about walking distance from our hotel. The first one was Live Life, very nice. We have tried Magu Soup, must try. The mushroom wontons and some mock meat, uh, barbecue chicken and oriental meat very very nice the stuff was really nice the place was super clean the other place was just across the road so if you want you can just do restaurant hopping <laughs> was Loon Hao less expensive than the other one and they had a few options 100% vegan we've tried actually pasta and pizza sorry <laughs> we missed a little bit our <laughs> own Italian food and the ice cream really really good must try and the third one was healthy you a little bit farther but super cheap and super delicious for like 59 pesos you can get a budget meal but it's a huge meal like you go out from that place really full the place is really characteristic so I would definitely recommend that place as well. We're now leaving for a new adventure. We're going to Shargao Island. So follow us for some new vegan adventures.